If you need to flip your footage in Premiere Pro, go to the effects window, search for flip. Underneath transform, you can flip it horizontal or vertical. So if I click and drag this onto my clip, it has flipped it horizontal. If something was filmed upside down, then it's easy to remedy by going to the vertical flip and dragging that onto the clip as well. If you're looking to rotate a clip, that's also easy to do. To rotate a clip, highlight it on the timeline and go to your effects controls window. Underneath motion, we have the parameter of rotation. If I click and drag the mouse on the number, it will rotate it either clockwise or counterclockwise. If you want to reset it, just hit the little reset parameter right there, or you could just type in whatever rotation amount you want. It's also worth mentioning that when you rotate a clip, you're always rotating around the anchor point. That's this little cross here, here in the middle of the clip. You can click and drag this in the program monitor to any point on the clip and start rotating it around the anchor point. In fact, it doesn't have to be on the clip. I could make the anchor point up here and rotate and it will rotate around the anchor point. Now, if you don't see this on your program monitor, that's because you haven't highlighted the motion right here. So if I click off motion, notice how the boundaries go away, but I can still rotate it. If you want to see the boundaries of the clip as well as the anchor point, click and highlight motion and that will bring it back up. One thing I use all the time when I'm rotating footage are guides and that's to help me level out horizons or whatever I'm working with on screen. Let me show you what I mean. So right here, our horizon is at a slant. And if I wanted to get this perfectly level, there's an easy way to reference a straight line on your program monitor. At the bottom right of your program monitor is the button editor. I'm going to click that. In here are a bunch of options that you can add to your button layout. For this example, I'm going to add show rulers, guides, and safe margins. Hit okay. So I'm gonna turn my safe margins on, then I'm gonna show my rulers, and show my guides. If no guides pop up, that's okay. We're gonna create our own. In the ruler section, I'm gonna take my mouse and click and drag it down to the little crosshairs of my safe margins. So right here and right here. Same goes for the vertical ruler. I'm going to click in this ruler space and drag over. That will create a new guide. I'm just gonna move it into place. Now this is if you wanted to have your crosshairs right in the middle, but for this particular footage, what I need to do is get this horizontal guide down here to my kind of ocean horizon view. I'm gonna go over to my rotation, just start to rotate my footage to get it straight with my guide. We are left with black bars in these corners right here. What I'm gonna do is take off my safe margins rulers and show guides and zoom in on my footage so it takes up the rest of the screen. So to do that, I'm gonna go back to my effects controls and now instead of doing rotation, I'm going to scale in the footage like so. And now our footage is rotated. One last way that you could rotate your footage is by swivel or tilt on the Z axis using the basic 3D effect. If I go to my effects panel and type in basic 3D underneath perspective, click and drag that onto my clip. And here, instead of the rotation parameters that we were looking at before, we have available to us a swivel and a tilt. That's how you can tilt and swivel in a basic 3D space within Premiere Pro. If you wanna get more out of the basic 3D effect, I made a whole video about it right here. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up. And until next time, I hope you're out there living a life of abundance. Bye.